Hi guys, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Mariah. I'm a culinary student and pastry chef who is currently working in Ireland before going back to Malta next October. I have been going to culinary school since 2019 and my final year of culinary school will be in 2025, which means that I am currently going to begin my first year bachelor's degree in culinary arts. So with that being said, let me show you guys what I keep in my bag for my regular theory classes at school. This is probably the biggest bag I own and I'm so glad I found it. I found this from Pennies here in Ireland. Yes, it was only 10 euro. Will it probably start peeling as soon as I start using it? Yes, but like it's a giant plain black tote bag. It has just a simple pocket in the front. The inside is empty. You can buy your own organizer, but for now I'm just using it as is. And it's the perfect size for my laptop. If you know me, you know I hate carrying more than one bag. I've been looking for a bag to hold my laptop for culinary school for so long and it can even fit so much more. So if I have a theory class and a kitchen class in the same day, I can just add in my uniform, grab my toolbox and I'm ready to go. Like, Literally. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I keep in here for my regular theory classes at culinary school. However, when I do have kitchen classes, I'll most likely have the same bag with me, except I'll also have my kitchen uniform and my toolbox. If you guys would like to know what I keep in my toolbox for work as a pastry chef and a student at culinary school, please check out the video, which is linked somewhere in the corner of this video. I'm so bad at directions. I always forget which side it is, but somewhere here or else you can click the link in the description below or check out my culinary school playlist. So let's get into it. Finally, the sun is out of my face. First thing I have in here is my water bottle. I've been drinking so much water since I came here to Ireland and I'm finally cutting down on sodas and not monster though, like that doesn't count, but I have a water bottle always with me, especially for my kitchen classes, but yeah. I've got my laptop, fits perfectly in my bag. I don't really use pen and paper that much, mostly because my hands start to hurt and I like to get every single note down. So I always use my laptop for my theory classes when it's allowed. I just type every single thing down. And then in my free time, or if we have like three hours where we don't have a lesson, I'll just edit some videos on my laptop. Next, this counts for like both kitchen and theory classes, but a hairbrush, because I like, I just like brushing my hair, you know? Next, I have some pens. I couldn't be bothered to take them out of the package here. I don't really... I mean, I'm in Ireland right now, so I don't really have a pencil case with me. So let's pretend this is my pencil case. But it's the thought that counts. Next, I've got a little notebook, mainly because we do not take a lot of handwritten notes down, at least not me. So I wanted something a little bit smaller instead of a regular like A4 size foolscap book. I've got my wallet. Let's imagine these are my car keys and my house keys. Since I am in Ireland, I don't have either. So theoretically, I would have my keys in my bag. My all-time favorite body spray, the Victoria Secret Love Spell. I love this. I love this. I'm just going to shove everything behind me. Just, just pretend this is not here. You don't, you don't see those anymore. <laughs> Roll on. I love this one by Dove because I do not want to smell bad of course of course you have to have antiperspirant it goes with the roll-on right i always keep these in my bag most of the things you're seeing you're probably gonna be like why the fuck does she have those in her bag if she just has like classes at school well that way i won't have to like fiddle around and add extra things that i might forget when i have a kitchen class so that way i'm all set for my kitchen class and all i would need is to grab my uniform and my toolbox and i have everything else already in there and I don't mind carrying these extra items around. Have my airpods because I I just love my music. Let's say I'm doing some prep in class and we're allowed to wear them just because the prep is really boring and time consuming. Then I'll have my airpods or for like a free lesson or something or when I'm editing my videos. Of course my power bank, my ride or die. This is such a great power bank. I think it's about 20,000 milliamps and the, it just lasts so long and of course I have a USB to USB-C cable an iPhone cable which is just the USB to lightning and then since this bag has like no compartments whatsoever I have this little mini pouch where I keep some other things 
so of course you guys can see that i'm a girl so i need my tampons i also have band-aids because i'm a clumsy ass motherfucker and i always manage to cut my hand on everything even if it's just like everyone needs to have band-aids right you know we're just gonna Shh. next i have my air tag this is a necessity to me, mainly because I always forget where my things are. I actually got this before traveling to Ireland just to keep track of my luggage because when I went abroad to a music festival a year ago, they lost my luggage. So it was just an extra peace of mind. And normally I would have this attached to my car keys and house keys. So yeah. Hair ties, because I'm always losing my hair ties. I always have one on my wrist, but if I have a kitchen class, then there'll be obviously it'll be in my hair or somewhere else, but extra hair ties because everyone always needs a hair tie at some point and you know i like to have those spf this is a a roll-on stick i found in the duty free section of the airport which i love i when you're in malta it's practically always sunny and you need your spf next i've got my student card with my locker key attached to it just so that it's easier for me to find this just has my photo and some information on it and yeah, um, I look really bad in this photo. This was like in the first week of school when I had like freshly dyed hair and my roots were very vibrant. And they photoshopped the background unbeknownst to me because in the year before they left like the background showing. And I thought I was gonna look really cute with this like sleek back ponytail. Girl, tell me what the fuck is this? What the fuck? I could scare someone with that. I'm just blending into the background. I'm like, I think I might have a lazy eye. <laughs> and where else do I have? I have an extra pen and a Sharpie in here. If you are a chef, you need to have a Sharpie in your pocket always. And I also have ibuprofen because for some reason, any any day, anytime I'm at school, someone's always complaining about a headache or a stomach ache. So like this, I'm stocked up. Not only for me, but for them as well. Because you never know when you need an ibuprofen, you know. Oh, and I also have the power brick for my charging cables in case I want to like plug them into the wall in class. That is everything. So yeah, those are all the things I like to keep in my bag for culinary school for when I have theory classes. And then like I said, when I have kitchen classes, I'll just grab my uniform and my toolbox. And that's pretty much it. I, over the years, I've realized I've needed less things. It just depends on the person. But if you're just starting out culinary school, see what is required from the school, see if you're allowed to even bring a laptop. Uh, most of these things are just for me. You're just mostly gonna need like something to write with, pens, something to write on, a water bottle, I guess. You don't really need much. In my first year, I came all prepared with a shit ton of like color-coded files and labels and stickers and shit, and we just didn't really use them because they don't give out that much like papers. Everything's like really digitized now. So yeah. That is what I like to keep in my bag for culinary school. Um, I cannot wait to go back. I cannot wait to use my new bag. Although I'm really enjoying it here in Ireland. And it's... I I don't know how it's going to be when I go back. I, I just can't wait to finish school and then see what happens next. So yeah. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, if you are not updated but you would like to be, make sure to check out my Instagram at marzi 2 rs 2 ss as well as my TikTok page. Mariah, M-A-R-R underscore I-A-H. I will see you very soon for another video. Bye, guys.